glove on my trigger hand. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I'm going to glove up because this is cold this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I think that barrel's cold. Okay. <laughs> One of the most important physiological aspects of this entire walk is right up above us on this hill. When we get up here, there was a huge spruce had fallen across the road and they cut a chunk out of it and moved it over the side of the road. So when you're coming out loaded with meat, you got a place to sit. This is the spruce. sitting log. This is a very important thing along this trail. Jim put it here. No, he cut I, it with an ax. No. And he drug it right I, here. You did this with my Wyoming saw. <laughs> It took a while. Flies right here. I think he's twisted this one. That's how you get deer bones. Yeah. What's that? Is that one going to explore? No. I've got a GPS point on it.
bone didn't get broke because somebody crunched it. There's a fat length. Huh? What's that? There's a fat length. No <laughs> bone. Metapodial. Native Americans used to sharpen these because they have a really nice butt plate. Use it for awls. Yeah, I've seen that. Useful tool. That's, uh, two more caves right up there. We'll circle around and come back, but I remember this being really open and pretty when I was in there every day, thinking like I'd like to come back and call sometime. We're gonna double here. That's, that's our goal. Two bucks are gonna come right there to that tree. One on each side, we're gonna drop them. This has to go. I love it when a pine comes together. Can I see it here, dude? That's a deal. That's a deal. It's going to snow. Yeah. We might be having a snowball fight later. Well, should that should have been that should have been different. Yeah. I'm gonna take you to my crappy spots tomorrow. I take you to all my good spots but we don't shoot poop. <laughs> still beats road honey though. Huh? It still beats road honey. That's all. <laughs> oh no. That was pretty up there today. Found a whole new pass. The tide to an awesome muskeg system. A new cave. Marcus is going to come back sometime in December and we're going to go back up there. If the snow pushes all the deer and there will be many stars in the sky. We'll just put we'll have packers. He's going to bring his wife. She loves to pack. This is going to be good. <laughs> just packers. Oh. All right. Can't race you to the truck. No, you won't. <laughs> you all want to run, you all take 
What do you think, Marcus? It looks amazing. It smells amazing. It smells of wonder. All right. Go over here. Ooh. See, these are these are. I feed you guys good, and these are the horrible snacks that you guys are Whoa. eating, right? <laughs> the trail mix, and oh no, what is this? Mm, this is the right. Chex mix. Yeah, and oh. Oh, who got these? Goldfish? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? What they're wild like? I love my goldfish. And corn nuts. These are hard on your teeth. They were on sale. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> There's oil residue left in the bottom of the barrel that runs down into the nipple. And if I don't dry the, the channel out where the powder goes into the nipple and stuff like that, there's a high probability it won't go off. But I found by snapping a few caps, I always do four just because I'm weird. I know it's dry. Then I blow down the barrel to get rid of the embers. If there was anything burning in there, so when I throw this in there that it didn't go whoosh and take off part of my beard and it'll smell really bad and look funny all day long. It'll grow back by tomorrow. <laughs> When it bounces, you know it's solid, huh? Yep, that's what I use. What's the plan? We're gonna go kill a deer. That's a, that's basically the plan. But that's been the plan pretty much all week. Is this day six? I don't know what day it is. I think I'll it's day agree six. with you. You say six. Okay. So we're gonna go up here, go over the ridge, and drop into the big timber on the far side where we were two days ago and had called in a really nice buck. A really big four by four with eye guards. And I'm gonna see if I can bring him back or his prodigy or anything else. His brother or his uncle. That's right. This but we're not gonna fool around, we're gonna go. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna call up on top. We're gonna dive right off the backside, go all the way through their feeding zone right down to the top of the cliff band above where they're bedding down in there and uh, call down in there call down in there and bring them up They'll many stars in the sky there's going to be waves of bucks coming out of there today I get to choose. <laughs> day after day after day make me go try to kill things over the ridge, swoop like the red tail. I mean, I don't know if these were seven o'clock last night or seven o'clock this morning. Tracks should come with a timestamp.
Ooh, I don't like that. Sorry. <laughs> I don't what know is what... with these deer ears? Huh? What is with these deer ears? I have no idea. Maybe when we first started calling right down in those all that snow covered branches, I heard it. I spun around to safety off the sounded just like a deer on it. It was odd though, it was like, nothing. Hmm. I don't know what it was, but it was like behind those trees, so it got the place. Like on the other side? It kind of sounded like in the, up the bottom. Okay. Obviously, we need to move on along this ridge and find the bigger more aggressive buck that wants to come in. He's not very far, because he wasn't spooked. But he's not going to come back to the goal. I don't know what to do. Actually, I do. Just keep doing what we're doing. Now there are natives in the interior believe that caribou do that. Because you'll look out, you'll look out there across the field, there'll be absolutely nothing, and suddenly there's 500 head of caribou. So there's actually oral traditions that talk about them living under the tundra, and they breach like a whale. That's what experienced hunters come up with after a while. Could be that you've just been too long in proximity to me, and that's. <laughs> starting to go crazy. <laughs> but seeing that one breach like a park, oh. started planning that in my head. It makes all, that, that explains everything. Either he, was, either he was bedded or he was still coming to the call that we just made on the previous ridge. <laughs> well, there's 
three or four more really sharp little ridges and great places to look off. We did see all those tracks as we were coming down about 200 yards before we got to the timber. called and called and called and hiked and hiked. I think we made actually about a three mile round trip back in there. Saw one buck, time. saw one doe, a seconds away from that buck. Seconds. Yep. But it's obvious things aren't hot. Things are not. Oh no, 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 no. Going. The rut just suppressed for some reason. Because you can't cover all the ground we covered looking at all the stuff we looked. Very few extra rubs than what we saw the other day. There was no deer tracks cruising the edges. So what they do up here right around the edges of those little timber patches become runways. And I saw no runway tracks at all. So, here's what it is. So we got a spot tomorrow. We're gonna check quick. That's right. As many as stars in the sky. <laughs> Maybe one. <laughs> Just one star. I would, I would take a north star. Yep. A lot of fun, beautiful country. Oh my gosh, the sun come out. Saw Jim's shadow today. Yeah, is that summer? Was that summer for you, that five minutes? Of the well, that's that Indian summer, late. It's come late, <laughs> sunlight a little bit. Sunlight a little bit. Yeah. No, it was gorgeous up there. Oh, just beautiful. The timber and everything else. Snow all over everything. No. I just love, I love that kind of hunting, just walking around. So Karen, what's that? Well, that's gooseberry tart. So, you know, this is the land of invention. I have all these cookbooks over here and they all are great cookbooks, but they all have ingredients that uh, I can never find. So this is out of classic home desserts and um, the recipe originally does not call for uh, gooseberries on top. It calls for a uh, pastiche of uh, raspberries and cranberries. Well, we can usually not ever get cranberries here. Um, except for the canned kind. Ugh. Or the wild kind. Yeah, well, yeah, and, and you have to be super patient. But I happen to have a lot of bushes that have gooseberries on them, so I've just adapted the recipe for gooseberries. That looks great. Yeah. Especially that homemade crust. Yep. Ooh, backstrap wrapped in bacon. I don't know if there's anything finer in the world. <laughs> One minute to the side. There we go. Nummy, 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 nummy. I've heard that some people buy meat. <laughs> I just have no concept of that. Uh, homemade mac and cheese, the homemade salad, mostly out of the garden. We have Iowa corn fed dough backstrap wrapped in really good quality bacon.
<laughs> no, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we tried hard this morning. We called a buck in. Kind of snuck up on us. <laughs> yeah. We were doing interviews. That's right. We were doing interviews. With the, the science and the research. And... There's a deer right there. Oh, eh, eh, it's a buck. Eh. It's a buck. Shoot it. Honest to God, I turned around over his shoulder and there's a buck standing there. Last day. We have to get back because they have to pack and leave in a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> we miss our flight off the island and we don't get off for about three days. So The rut's just going to get better, Jim. <laughs> so the magic of the rut is we ironically stop our hunt down there, getting ready to go home to pack. And we, as I'm starting the vehicle, I look down the road couple hundred yards and there's a really nice fork of horn standing <laughs> <laughs> and he dove back into the brush and he's, he's safe now he's only got to go two feet and oh it's just amazing you sure you don't Looking want to you sure you don't want to spend another couple days here <laughs> Man. I think they would taunt us and it would be another couple days and another couple days <laughs> Why do you think I've never left? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How do you believe that? I moved here and couldn't go away.